Hey guys, it's Ash and welcome to the 4th episode of my journey to Max Town Hall 11. Currently I have an elixir storage upgrading to level 12, an expo still building at level 1, and an eagle artillery also upgrading to level 1, and I also have a laboratory upgrading to level 9, so I'm still waiting for all of those upgrades which are going to take a few more days. And I also have a free builder which I'm saving to continuously upgrade my Grand Warden. And as you can see, the base I'm using is a pretty much a teaser base to have attackers attack me from the south so that they can get the 50% and the loot bonus and all my Dark Elixir because I don't need Dark Elixir anymore as uh, I have both of my heroes, my King and Queen, at level 40. So I don't really have much use of Dark Elixir and it's always full, uh, so I'm giving it away uh, so that I can get a shield. So Lauch991 asked, Great video, how did you find these bases? Sometimes I search for over 20 minutes for bad loot. Well good question, and it's true. I also uh, sometimes search for over 20 minutes and I can't find anything. My best advice is keep searching and be patient and you will be rewarded. If you really can't find anything for a very long time, maybe take a break, like an hour or two, and uh, see if the loot has changed. Most likely, most of the time, it does change and it does get better. You just have to keep searching and not give up. That's what I do and that's what I tell people uh, to do all the time. And it's also mostly luck. Sometimes you're going to be lucky finding lots of loot. Sometimes you're not. So, you know, you just, you just have to live with that. And it's all about the end result. How much you make per day at the end of the day. So in this attack, I was using BAM with Barbarians, Archers, and Minions to farm with uh, rather than my typical G-Barch attack composition for Town Hall 11 farming. And the reason for this is because uh, sometimes I'm just really busy and I'm really multitasking. Uh, so when I'm really busy, I just cook Barbarians, Archers, and Minions because it's just much easier to cook them and also use them for farming as I can just spam them and just attack collectors on the outside or easy to get storage bases. I can just attack those bases with this composition. So since I have my builders working on the defenses and uh, I still have a bunch of gold left, I'm going to use them on the last few level 11 walls that I have left. I believe that I have like 9 of them left. And I'm also going to use the elixir to upgrade the Grand Warrior to level 6 today which is awesome. And the great thing about upgrading him by a level is not just the slight increase in DPS or HP but also that increase in life aura ability as uh, that buffs all your troops. So all your troops are basically getting an increase in health point which is awesome. So Fallout Clash of Clans asked, Ash, I'm a Town Hall 10 and was in Masters 1 but loot has got so low and Town Hall 11s are everywhere now every third search. Keeping 5 builders busy at Town Hall 10 needs a lot of loot so would you recommend me dropping to Masters 3 too? Yeah Fallout, I would definitely recommend moving down to Masters 3. The reason, the main reason that I'm here at Masters 3 is because not only because it's my favorite place to farm as a Town Hall 10 and 11 player, but also because you're going to find a lot of rushed bases, a lot of Town Hall 10 bases that are rushed. You're going to find the weakest of them, and not only that, you're going to find a greater rate of dead bases. There are more dead bases in Masters 3 than Masters 1. The higher you go up in leagues, the less dead bases you're going to find and the stronger bases you're going to find. In Masters 1, as you stated, you are finding lots of Town Hall 11s. In Masters 3, I've been finding a lot of less uh, Town Hall 11. So you want to definitely move here. And also, uh, around the range of like 2,530 to 2,600 trophy range with the Masters 3 badge. And if you go too high, just drop your trophies, just drop your Barbarians and trophies and come down to this range as it's very good. It's a very good range and as you can see, I'm making tons of resource. This was over 900,000 plus the loot bonus. This was a 1 million resource loot raid. So Valter is asked, how do you deploy your troops like that? Well, if you mean how I deploy them so quickly, uh, it's because I'm using two hands and I'm also playing on an iPad mini so I can do this. I can use both of my hands and I'm using multiple fingers. I'm using three to four fingers to drop my troops. And I'm also doing this uh, in a specific manner. I'm not simply just spamming them. I'm using, I'm deploying my side structure barbarians and archers quickly to remove the side structures. And then I'm quickly deploying all my uh, rest of the barbarians, archers and everything quickly at the middle and the reason I'm doing this so quickly is because I want 
to overwhelm the defenses. Not only that, it's much more important now to deploy all of them quickly so that you can also send out your Grand Warden and have them all protected by his life aura. And you definitely don't want to delay with that because uh, it takes a while deploying all 200 of those barbarians and archers. Uh, so this helps deploying all of them at once with multiple fingers really helps to deploy them all together so that so that they can all benefit from the life aura ability so this attack was a piece of cake uh, pretty much a dead base uh, all I had to do was really overwhelm everything with my barbarians archers use a life aura to buff my troops and just let my troops do the work so super Nihilus asked how are you setting up your barracks well for my G barge composition with giants barbarians archers and wall breakers on my first barrack I cook I train four wall breakers uh, six giants and the rest barbarians and in my second barrack I also trained four wall breakers six giants and fill the rest with archers this time so those are the two barracks that I boost I only boost two barracks and then for my third and fourth barracks I just fill it up, I just fill it up with archers and for my other composition, which is uh, BAM, that I also use sometimes, I train for my first bar barrack, I train four wall breakers, fill the rest with barbarians, and in the second barrack, four wall breakers, fill the rest with archers, and my third and fourth barracks, all archers again. And for my dark barracks, cook all minions. So those are the two compositions that I like to use most frequently for farming here in Masters 3. So here we have a Town Hall 10 base with Inferno Towers, some Town Hall 9 defenses, but mainly Town Hall level, Town Hall level 8 defenses. So really not going to stand the chance even against Barbarians and Archers. And I know a lot of people think that, you know, it's just Barbarians and Archers. How hard can it be to stop them? Well, it can be very uh, tough to stop them if they're coupled with high level heroes. Uh, and if the attacker uses multiple spells, it becomes very difficult to stop level 7 uh, barge. So if you want to stop them, then you're going to need to upgrade your defenses. This guy, he's a Town Hall 10, really didn't upgrade his defenses, so he's going to he's gonna definitely struggle uh, securing his loot. Okay, here we have a lot of resource, but it's inside the base. But look at his, look at the level of his defenses. He has level 5 mortars and wizard towers. So yeah, really weak splash defenses. So as you can see, I'm going to show you an example. I mainly have barbarians and archers for this attack. Uh, only 3 giants. And it's going to really destroy this base, as you'll see. Even though he has inferno towers, both of them are set to single. You really don't want to do that, especially with uh, level 5 splash. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be a pretty much pretty much a piece of cake. I didn't even have wall breakers. He only had level seven walls, so with the rage spell, it's not gonna take too long for my troops to destroy all of those uh, defenses anyway. Uh, but still, it's gonna be very difficult to uh, three star him because he still has a lot of defenses, and I'm still using barbarians and archers mainly. I don't have much giants. I only had three giants for this attack. So here I get pretty lucky though as you'll see my archer queen takes the storages uh, goes for the elixir storage and as you can see I also have a lot of witches I, I like to cook witches instead of minions for this attack mainly because uh, I find G barge to work better with witches not minions for coring as I basically core bases I basically attack the inside of bases to go for the storages and not just uh, attack collectors on the outside so witches work perfectly for that and here as you can see that one witch is guarding my archer queen with all those skeletons and somehow miraculously she alone uh, was able to finish the rest of the uh, buildings well there are two Larry's there so those are helping her too but yeah three stars so with all the farming that I've been doing today, I was able to upgrade another level 10 wall to level 11. Awesome. And I also have enough elixir to upgrade my Grand Warden again, this time to level 7. Awesome. And uh, of course, I'm going to gem the timer because like I told you guys, I'm going to gem the timer so that I can continue to farm and also provide you guys with more video content for more video content with the Grand Warden. So that's awesome. Life Aura ability is now 26.8% increase. Max, max HP increase is 108. Awesome. And I also have enough uh, gold to upgrade another defense. So I'm going to use my fifth builder to upgrade my Archer Tower. Awesome. So thanks for following guys. If you really enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys again soon in the next episode. Take care.